How you doing? Welcome to the Wizards. Uh, thank you so much. Why was why was this uh, an enticing opportunity? You kept saying opportunity, opportunity. Why why are the Wizards that opportunity? Um, I mean, like you said, that the biggest thing for me in deciding with the team this summer was all about getting a legit opportunity to show I can still play and play at a high level. And then, I mean, which is not great news, but with John being out most of the year, um, it gives me an opportunity to come in and play right away. And um, when I met with the Wizards last week, it was like they really wanted me, and it was, it was like a genuine one. And that's all I want. I want to be able to have the opportunity to compete, have the opportunity to play, and show that I can still play at a high, high level. And then at the same time, be around a good group of guys. Because I feel like that's very important. And when I sat down and met with them, it was just, it made sense. I'm just happy with that decision and happy with somebody that's, that's on the path with me together to, you know, to show people I can still play at a high level. How about the significance of you signing with the Wizards, considering you had that playoff series against them? It was kind of the, the last season where you were really on top all NBA. Yeah. It's never personal. It was, it's weird to be, I mean, to say that I am on the Washington Wizards and say I was weird because I was competing with them for two or three years in the Eastern Conference, and we are battling. We felt like we hated each other. That was becoming a little rivalry, and... But at the same time, I'm really good friends with John, good friends with Brad. I have respect for Scotty Brooks being a small guard and paving the way for a guy like myself. And um, like I said, when I sat down and met with them, it was all, all about being with the right group of guys and most importantly, having the opportunity to come into play. So that's what they told me I had. And uh, how, how are you feeling now, uh, health-wise? Uh, obviously, you played 12 games yeah. last year for the Nuggets. I'm feeling great. Like, I'm, I'm back to feeling like my old self. Um, I've been healthy for a while, and then um, this is the first summer in two years where I can really work on my body and work on my game. Like, if you let that sink in, that sounds great, but I haven't get, been able to get better in two years. The last two summers I've been rehabbing, so this is a, a big summer for me, and my body's feeling great. Um, I got, I'm in a great situation to be able to you know, show the world that I can play at a high level, and that's and that's what I'm really focused on. You said you've been healthy for a while. Yeah. Uh, can you put a timeline on that? Um, since I was able to come back and play with the Nuggets, like the Nuggets allowed me, like I can't thank them enough for allowing me to take my time and really not rushing anything and making sure when I do come back, I was 100%. And with the thing with the Denver, the opportunity just wasn't there. Like we played as a team, they played really well, guys. I feel like played better than what was expected. And um, I mean, I didn't want to rest, mess up the success that we're having. So, you know, coach made a uh, coaching decision to take me out of the rotation. But at the same time, I mean, I worked out after every game. I, I played three on three before every game. I ran every stadium stairs before every game. So I was still able to get better and still able to bring something to the team. So since, I say since February, I've been feeling really good. I know you're you're real tight with John. Um, yeah. Kind of like, where, where does that go back to? Where, where did you guys start to come? High school. Um, I met him right before he blew up. So right before <laughs> he became the number one player in the country, coming out of high school, we played in a, um, the same basketball camp. And then from there, we just built a relationship. I've always talked to John. We always communicated. We always battled against each other. And then when we got in the league, we was we was on Reebok together. So that that's what made our relationship even closer. So he's a really good friend of mine. So, yeah, the whole load management thing has gotten popular in the last few years. Yeah. Everybody is points to your example of playing when you were hurt yeah. and you shouldn't yeah. have. Sure. Um, do you feel like you kind of took a bullet for um, the rest of the, the guys in this league showing example? And how do you feel about that? And how do you feel about trying to come back after you, you yeah. gave your body yeah. for an organization? For sure I took a bullet. Everybody. Like, and that's in terms of max contracts, all of that, and people not playing to get their max deals. I took a bullet for sure, but that was the decision that was made at that point in time. If I mean, if you remember, I was going through other stuff at that time too, so like basketball was really the only thing that was helping me through that through that time off the court. Um, but I feel like, yeah, I mean, especially like even with the Kawhi Leonard thing, like he sat out for a reason. Like he's seen my situation, I'm for sure he's seen it. And then, I mean, the list goes on. And then, but the low management, low management, I think, is smart for players. Like, we play a lot of games. We battle against the best players in the world. So it's only 
I think players now are looking out for themselves more importantly than the team looking out for them. So. Tim Connolly spoke really highly of your like leadership and yeah. locker room and stuff. What do you think you can bring uh, to Washington off the court? I mean everything. I'm a I'm a born leader. Like that's just who I am. That's how I was raised. That's how my parents raised me. Um, I think I could bring guys together even more. I've done it before. I've done it at every level that I play. Um, and I, I just want to bring the best out of everybody. I want to compete. I want to win. And I think that was one of the most important things in the Wizards meeting was like, I'm not, like, I'm coming here to win. Like, I don't know any other way. And they felt the same way. So I, I feel like I could bring a lot. And I'm going to just be myself. And that's all I know how to do. Thanks, Welcome to the meeting.